take account of all the European aspects because uh, the CAP is something which affects European citizens day in, day out, both in terms of food and in terms of health. So let's not leave it by the wayside. Let's not make it a state issue. Let's make it a rallying point for the whole of Europe. Thank you. Mr. Flanagan. Thank you, Mr. Flanagan. You have the floor. Um, uh, the first line in point one calls for an in-depth reform of the own resources system, including new own resources and a variety of uh, suggestions uh, for basically a new power grab by the European Union. There is a very simple way to fill the gap that will be there uh, by Brexit, and that is to increase uh, the GNI contribution if that's what we want to do. But the first thing you do before you put more water in a bucket is, and I think you know the song, is you fix the hole in the bucket. And at the moment, we are going to ask the people, the remaining people of the European Union, to fill this bucket, even though the hole in it leads to massive ranchers, people who get money from the common agricultural policy that shouldn't. So before you go looking for more money and before you go looking to put more liquid in the bucket, fix the hole. And the hole is quite clear and it's quite clear where it is. We also have the problem in Ireland in how GNI is calculated. It's calculated uh, taking into account GDP. Now, you probably hear rumours, uh, especially when they're talking about uh, the economic collapse, that Ireland has massively recovered. Apparently, we've recovered to the extent that the year before last, our GDP growth was plus 28%. Now, that was described as leprechaun economics, and that's exactly what it was, because our economy really did not grow by that. I don't see people driving around in gold-plated cars. I see record homeless numbers. I see record waiting lists for hospitals. So when you're calculating this GNI, can we have something more realistic than GDP? Because GDP isn't about wealth. It's about goddamn propaganda and nothing else. Muchas gracias, señora New.